Now it's time to talk about Chattanooga Changemakers with the Chamber of Commerce. And joining us today is Lori Jenkins. Lori is Director of Sales for Country Inn and Suites. Hello. Hey there. How are How's you? How's everything? Great. Great. Thank you. Y'all staying cool? Air conditioning running all right? So far. So far so good. <laughs> Tell me about uh, the Country Inn and Suites. Exactly what are you? How many are there in our area? We actually have um, three hotels in Chattanooga and then one in Dalton. Oh, okay. And um, what we do is just offer a place for people to stay when they're coming to Chattanooga. Kind of a temporary home away from home, I yeah. guess. And make them feel comfortable. We got some video, uh, guys, if you want to go ahead and go into that because it kind of shows swimming pool and, and place to eat and, and all that. It's, it's exactly. well, it looks like home. You exactly. Just said it. Yeah. How many locations now? Four? Three Four total, three in Chattanooga, one in Dalton. Um, this actually is of our Hickson property. Um, we have one out in Hickson, one in Tiftonia, one out near Hamilton Place, and then, like I said, the fourth one in Dalton right off the interstate. All right, now, I guess the next question would be what do you not do? What don't I don't know? Oh, well, you do so much. <laughs> we do well, and uh, you know I think that that's part part of it. I mean, because when folks have a need, um, we can we want to try to fix that. Yeah. You know. Well, and you would with Chattanooga now we have so many softball teams here during the summertime. You have uh, I'm sure workers from with with the, the Volkswagen thing with the mm -hmm. other businesses that are going up, and they got to have a nice, comfortable place to be. Exactly, and and I think that our hotels are a good fit, especially for um, families. You know, people yeah. coming in wanting to, people are traveling a little bit less distance-wise. I think you know, mm -hmm. so they can stay at one of our hotels, still go down to the aquarium, visit all the attractions, have a good weekend stay at an affordable price, and especially for those teams though as well that are in for you know four or five oh, nights yeah. that gets expensive for families so we take good care of them make sure they're comfortable and, and enjoy their stay in town come on and come on if you have friends or relatives exactly. coming to town remember remember country exactly. in and sweets uh, now why why the chamber why are you a member of the chamber of commerce it is um, absolutely without a doubt one of the best things that we've done um, our membership exposes us, gives me an opportunity, gives me and the rest of our staff an opportunity to just make contacts. I think in general, um, we can't really do business the way we've always done business. Mm -hmm. I think people now value the relationships that they have with folks. And I don't want to just call an 800 number and buy something or book <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah. I want a person. And the chain, Gotta talk to a person. <laughs> exactly. I want a person. I want that relationship. I want to know them and I want them to know us. And the chamber gives us that opportunity to go out and, and meet with different folks, talk with different people, people that otherwise I would probably never have an opportunity to talk with. Yeah. Do you think in some cases people shy away from the chamber because they think, oh, it's just some group that I don't need to be bothered with. They don't know how much it can benefit them. I'm sh I think there are those people, um, and I hate that there are those. That if, if you're one of those, raise your hand. You know, let someone yeah. talk to yeah. you. Um, because we kind of fall into that medium-sized business, I guess. And I think that the misconception is that the chamber focuses on big businesses. Yeah. Um, you know, we average 20 employees or so at each of our hotels. So when we can expand our workforce, even by two or three managers, that's a huge growth okay. for us. Yeah. You know, and to compare that to someone who's going to employ 2,000 people, you know, it's not quite yeah. the same, but for us, that's the commitment that the Chamber shows to us and to our city. And if you would like more information from the Chamber, there is their phone number and their website as well. And uh, do as Lori has done. Try it. Hold your hand up. Say, here we go. Exactly. Thank you, Lori. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Now let's join Mr. Foodies in the kitchen.